So I was on the phone to talk to the middle uh, radio call-in show and talk to America or the world over the radio with this idea yesterday because they were asking if social media had an outside influence on our elections. Mine is that, that my opinion is that the reason they're afraid of TikTok is because they're afraid of free speech and information that they don't control with a fascist agenda. They're afraid of TikTok and trying to stop it because they don't want the truth getting out there. Contrary to that, uh, fa Facebook or Facebook and Twitter are both so fascist that they that they are the agenda that the status quo wants. And Elon Musk and Zuckerberg, between Cambridge Analytica and the J6 Trump's erection and their roles in all those things and other things, spreading lies about the Trump virus to turn it into a genocide and make it as bad as possible, all this stuff, have invalidated their rights to be walking around free. They should be in jail, just like Trump should be in jail, for all the Trumpy things they've done, all the treasonous, traitorous things they've done. And while we put them in jail, we should just seize the companies, uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, turn them back into Twitter and Facebook, and run them under the post office. If people have problems with, well, why would the, you know, what, what would happen if the government had so much control over the social media platforms? Well, you can make the government transparent. You can't make Elon Musk's whims transparent other than just cross-reference cross to them with what Putin would want, and you'll see exactly what they are. But, yeah, we need to take this power out of Zuckerberg and Elon Musk's hands. Zuckerberg made a list of Trump and all his top aides that they could not be punished by Facebook uh, regulations. It's just, it's been like this forever, and they lie and hide and play stupid. Well, Elon Musk isn't playing stupid. He's being pretty obvious about it now. But they act like it's all just, you know, evolution or something, when it was all the Putin plan to begin with. And at some point, just like we must stop Netanyahu to save Israel and save any type of peace in the Middle East, we must stop uh, Zuckerberg and Musk, arrest them, seize all their companies, and just run those companies under the post office, run the other ones under the transportation or whatever else you can do, but just socialize their companies and stop them, and the world will be a safe and better place, and we can preserve democracy instead of having it overtaken by fascism. Thanks. Thanks, The Middle, for inspiring this response. Maybe I'll try to leave it in a voicemail so they didn't get on the show. Thanks for talking to me, and sorry to the secretary for not making it shorter. See you soon.